Um, I mean, it obviously depends uh, on the game. I mean, we've got a lot of guys playing uh, really good football in practice, and and so uh, you know, I go in with a plan in mind in terms of. Uh, Friday night, I kind of look down and, and, and see what uh, what type of rotation I want to do. And so uh, the plan last week was uh, third series to uh, put Paul in there and and then uh, uh, get some other guys in and, and, and then see how uh, the flow of the game is going and, and what I feel is um, best for the situation. Well, that was collectively the best effort of the season so far. Uh, I don't know about that, uh, um, but it, it was a good, it was a good performance. It was a good performance. I mean, the Texas A&M game was was pretty good too. What have you seen from watching South Carolina's front seven? Um, they're very big. You know, they got guys. Uh, they got you know six six three twenty. They got you know three oh five. They got uh, some guys that are uh, agile. And quick, and, and you got some guys that are uh, on the edge that are long, and uh, backers that can that will run and hit you. Um, so it's going to be a formidable uh, uh, front seven, and uh, uh, they do uh, enough in terms of different schemes, in terms of playing uh, an over front, an under front. They play odd. They'll get into jam, and they'll walk a, a, a backer, or excuse me, a down lineman back as a spinner guy, and and rush him from uh, from the back end and so there's uh, quite a bit that they do uh, that we got to have a great week of preparation have great communication um, you know